Materials in your game or game engine is one of the hardest things to get right in my experience now. I've been spending uh, approximately the last three weeks trying to hash out the best system for my particular game engine here that you're looking at. And I've gone back and forth with different ways. Am I going to do PBR? Am I not, not going to do PBR? Uh, what if the model has a texture like a PNG or something like that that includes that includes with it? And what if it doesn't? What if it just has some data, like some color data and stuff like that, and there's no actual texture? How do you handle that? And there seems to be nearly endless scenarios of different ways people do texturing. And yeah, it's obviously not endless, but there are a lot of different ways. There's no one size fits all. Uh, everybody seems to be doing it slightly different. There are some standards you can follow, and you can, and now you, you got to kind of decide: Do I follow some of these standards, or do I come up with my own system, or do I support all the standards and just kind of mash it all in there? And uh, it's a lot of design design decision to think of. So I spent a good amount of time getting this whole PBR thing set up and setting up the shader to handle the PBR workflow. And uh, when I'm finally nearing the end of this whole thing, I decided that this is really convoluted and confusing and there's no way, um, uh, there's no smooth way to make this happen the way I was doing it. So I ended up just backpedaling. And that always feels bad because you feel like you're, you're losing a lot of work. You feel like you spent tons of time doing this and the whole, everything you've done is being reverted. Now this is sort of a misconception. Uh, because uh, all the time you spent trying to do one thing and it maybe it didn't work, uh, it's surprising how much you learned. It's surprising when you approach things, even other things, now you have all this bonus knowledge, we'll say bonus knowledge, um, of what other options are out there and that often influences how things are going to go in the future for you, especially for designing your own particular material system. Now, obviously, Unity and Unreal have their ways of doing it, and I'm sure that's perfectly fine for them. But as you might know, uh, those engines are, are generally pretty heavy, as in they have a lot of options. And for whatever game you're in particular designing, there's no way you're using all those options. So if you're making your own game engine, often the reason you're doing this is because you want to keep it lightweight. You don't want to have all this extra bloat in there that ultimately just makes all your, your game your game a uh, larger file and the engine uh, you want you want it to you want to reduce the amount of uh, what's the right word I guess hashing and caching you, you don't want your memory to be all scattered in large chunks uh, that might make sense to computer science people but not other, other people but basically you want things to be nice and aligned you don't want stuff all over the place and the more like stuff you have that you're not using the more your stuff in general is going to be scattered in your memory which means that your CPU is going to have to dump its cache and load in this new stuff and sometimes for no particular reason other than it's just got it full of stuff you're not using. That's a lot to think about. So yeah, in preparing for this next update to my uh, Archer engine, um, previously named Ancient Archer, I still haven't updated the project name, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm basically having to make all these decisions and I think when it comes down to it, you know, I've tried to implement PBR. I sort of backpedaled on it. Maybe I'll do it later, but it looks like it's more than I'm going to necessarily need because overall this, this looks pretty darn good right now. I, I'm pretty happy with the way models look with just like the blend fong setup and some basic shadows. So we'll give it a quick run just as an example here, but all right. So I've got this, like uh, I think it's a car 98 or something. It's just like a sniper rifle and I can load it into here. Now, when I got this off a some, one of those sites, I don't remember exactly what site, sorry. Uh, I got this model off some site. It might be a little hard to see here, but we have a directional light and we have a gun model. And I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It's got a nice shine, uh, a little bit of jaggy edges, but that's uh, that could be improved with some anti-aliasing and stuff. So not too big of a deal, but this is not PBR. This is just blend fong with, with some specular highlights and stuff like that. And overall, I like the look of this. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So is there really a point in going to PBR if you're happy with the way things look? I don't know. Obviously this could probably look a lot better uh, in some ways and we could get better reflections from the environment and all that. But that's not really a bridge I'm ready to cross yet is what I've decided, at least not in this particular update. Uh, maybe someday, absolutely. But now here's where 
This is probably the most important takeaway and the most important part. If you're making a game engine, you need to think about what game you're making. Now I'm making this game engine for a game that I want to make. I don't know of anybody else that's in general using this engine. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, it's not really for me to decide even. I have to decide what I want in my game. And if I don't care that much about PBR, I don't need to include it. And ultimately PBR is going to be a performance hit. It's, just, it's a lot more calculations. It's a lot heavier of a game. And that's fine with today's hardware. Really, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but that is also just a consideration. And I think for now, I'm okay with the way it is uh, with this look. But that being said, there are some other issues here because these all load from textures. There's a whole set of textures that come with this and they all look pretty nice. And there's a roughness, normal, metalness, AO. Now I'm not using this AO texture, uh, so it could look a little nicer with that. I don't think I'm using the roughness either, but those are prepared for PBR. However, that's a whole nother thing that I'm going to talk about real quick. And this is something that threw me for a loop and probably cost me days of time, but at least, at least now I know. Um, and it's, it's, this is more about relying on other people's libraries. Uh, you, you don't know about other people's libraries all that much. Sometimes, sometimes people put stuff in their libraries that will just like, they'll look like they do something, but they don't actually do what they say they do. And it's not necessarily even their fault. So I'm going to go, let's see here. I'm going to go to my, uh, I guess texture loader here. And I've got, uh, you see ASIMP, that's Open Asset Importer. It's just a public library. And we're going to take a look at this material file. Now, something about this material file is, you know, when you're importing stuff and you're loading up uh, models and textures, there's a way to grab the textures from the files. Obviously, they handle all that. And, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a big job. But what they have here is a bunch of different things about the texture. They have map modes. They have operations. They've got, uh, what else? Texture mapping. What's the difference? I don't know, but yeah, there's a, there's a, all these little things. And when you get to the texture type, this is where things get weird because I started, I started grabbing PBR models. So I was trying to implement this PBR and I decided, Hey, look like we're gonna, we need a good PBR model to test. And I thought, I thought, that if a model was labeled as a PBR model, like someone designed it with Substance Painter for PBR, that when you load it up with SIMP and you get the texture type, I thought that the PBR materials would be labeled as PBR materials, but they're not. They're, they're not. In any case, in all these PBR models, not a single one had any of these PBR materials that SIMP has in their file. So maybe some do, maybe they're just preparing for the future, but in all the ones I tested, nobody even designing PBR materials actually uses these. So I was, I was confused. I was like, why, why are these even in here then? Cause I designed this whole system. I changed everything for the PBR to check specifically for the PBR materials. And it turns out the PBR models don't even use the PBR uh, material tags. They just use these old tags. They use these old what they call legacy. I don't think they're legacy. They appear to be still current. So like there, there's no base color. It's just called diffuse. And there's no normal can. What is what does normal camera even mean? I don't even know. Uh, I don't. I don't even know. It's just a normal. Maybe they just had to give it a different name because normals is already here. But yeah, your normals are normals. They're not. They're not called normal camera because they're PBR and, and all this stuff. It's just, you know, all these PBR stuff, you use these old standard ones that we're used to. They're not using this new setup. And that, that literally cost me days of work implementing all this stuff and changing everything to adapt to it just to find out that it's not even used. So I guess the whole takeaway from this is uh, design for what you're actually doing. Don't try to follow the trends too much. Don't try to do what everybody else is doing. Don't try to prepare for what other people might want. Specifically implement what you need for your particular game. And that's my rant about materials. I'd be happy to hear your comments about this whole thing down below. Uh, try not to bash ASM too much. I know there people have a lot of complaints about it, but there doesn't seem to be a better model loader it's like if you can't improve it or come up with a better one you probably shouldn't complain about it i know it sound like i'm complaining about it but i'm really not i'm just very i'm more confused more than anything 
I'm confused as to why, I don't even know if it's their fault or if it's the designers of old models or new models fault. I don't know whose fault it is, but I just don't, I literally just don't understand and couldn't find really any information on why they have specific PBR materials in here, but nobody uses them. So I, it's, it's more of a lack of understanding. It's not me complaining. And I would love to hear the answer if it's out there or something. <laughs> All right. See you in the next one. Peace out.